Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show y'all how I styled and installed this bomb wig from Ellie Pearl Hair. And yeah, stay tuned, let's get into it. He want me to hit him first, hmm, that'll happen when he in a hearse. Hey, I drop a pick on the gram, Hey, now he come with the thirst. Click, click, close. Oh. Hey homegirls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shannon here, of course, you already know. Who else would it be? So as you can tell by the title, girl, today I'm going to be showing you how I installed this wig. And literally, I'm actually so surprised, like, how well I did. Because, y'all, I have not worn a wig in literally so long. Like, I haven't applied an actual, like, frontal wig, like, in a minute. Girl, I'm just getting, you know, back in the groove. And I wanted to try a fun little style that I never did before because... Everybody knows how to do like a quick little middle part or side part, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and Yeah, I just came up with this little half up half down with some pieces in front and one curl it. It's so full and bouncy and airy and just you know like It really is giving like it's really giving y'all like these wig videos or you want to see like different styles then let me know because i felt like you know at first it was just getting repetitive like y'all know how to do a middle part y'all know how to do a side part you know what i'm saying and the install process is really the same so i don't know i kind of slowed up on them but i might i might get back in my groove okay with the hair videos ellie pearl hair comes in this nice little box and they give you a lot of goodies in here like girl they gave me a lot of stuff okay um it comes with like a hair care packet they give you little extra bands um they give you a lot of stuff they also give you little wig caps and an edge brush and you know scarves and stuff so they really package this up really nice to give you a lot of stuff that can help with your wigs let me know if y'all like this video and y'all like this style and yeah let's just get into it girl all right, y'all, so we're just going to hop right into this video. So I'm going to start off with my braids, of course. And I didn't have any edge control, but you just need any edge control, anything to slick your edges up because, girl, you don't want no glue on your edges or anything. I just used some got-to-be styling gel, and I just slicked up my edges because that holds really well, and it's not that um, rough on my hair. And I'm just going to take this wig cap that I already used, girl. I'm going to tell y'all this right now, okay? Y'all need to start saving y'all wig caps because I think I used this wig cap for like a closure or something. I can't really remember, but girl, it was already pre-cut and I had my ears cut out. So then I just basically saved it and, you know, reused it. Already had the foundation in there and everything. So yeah, that's a tip. But yeah, I just make sure it fits on my ears and then I just get ready to spray. So I'm going in with my Wander Lace Bond Spray and I use this a few times. I'm just trying out different type of um, sprays, but this one is actually really good because it dries really quick. And I even use this like for glueless installs or just when I don't wanna use like actual wig glue like on my hair. So yeah, I use this, this dries really quick and yeah, it's just simple to the point. So you just wanna spray it on your wig cap. I let that sit and dry. Doesn't take that long, like I said. So I don't even use a blow dryer because if y'all know me, I really don't like using a blow dryer because I just feel like it's not, I don't really need it. But yeah, if you're in a rush, definitely use a blow dryer. You know, that's like the fastest. I'm gonna cut off the extra piece of cap because you know, I don't want all that showing. I don't need it. So whatever is unneeded, just cut it off. I have the hair details on the screen. It's 22 inches body wave curl and a 13 by four HD lace wig so yeah girl we getting into it i love hd laces if y'all don't know because girl they just look so natural like so as you can see i'm gonna cut off a little bit of extra lace and then i'm gonna go into my lace tint spray i got this from the hair store y'all i don't even know what brand it is but it's a warm brown color and i use this on my lace so i spray this like on my um frontal lace just to like really get that color and like really blend but like i could have skipped that step because i feel like i just had too much color like i had too much on my cap too much on a wig like it was just too much but um it came out good though it came out good so as you can tell i was wiping off all that extra spray and adhesive and then i just go in and as you can tell it looks really good it really blends in but I just wish I didn't put so much because I don't even need all that color, honestly. So at first, I went in with my wig dealer um, glue, which 
I did not like, I don't know if I had it for too long or if it's just the consistency I don't like, but it's just too like dry. It's like pasty and too dry. So I switched to using my Bold Hold Active Glue and this one is so much better. It's like light and I can move it around. It's not pasty, you know? So I don't know, girl. I don't know if I had that one for too long, but yeah, we switched to the Bold Hold. Bold Hold never did me wrong. So yeah, I just put it on my cap kind of on my forehead a little bit and I just waited till it got like semi clear and I started laying down my lace now I already tried to put this wig on as to why the lace was already cut so yeah um it didn't work out the first time girl I told y'all I'm just getting back into the groove of putting on wigs again but yeah I just already had it pre-cut but it was pretty simple though because I already had it plucked and matched to my um hairlines so yeah i just kept adding glue to the sides and to my cap and all that and placing it down yeah if this is your first time putting on a wig just always make sure that if you're using wig glue that it's like semi-clear before you lay it down you do not want to lay down your lace while it's already like white you know what i'm saying because that's not going to give you the right look and it's not even dry so at least wait until it's tacky or semi-clear to lay down your lace but yeah i just make sure them edges are intact girl make sure everything is on point and yeah So now on to styling, I'm gonna be wand curling this wig and I did want to do like a up style. I knew I kind of wanted to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna just take some argan oil and put that through the hair and make sure it's just like a little bit moisturized, not too dry. <laughs> So I wanted to do like a upstyle hairstyle because I haven't done that. Like I don't even think I've ever done that or probably in forever. So once I took off the scarf, I was like, I'm gonna just do like an upstyle. And I don't even know where the idea came from when I was gonna pull out the two pieces, but girl, that came out late. And I was like, it would be so cute to have like two pieces. So yeah, I did that after. But um, right here, I'm just doing my edges. So I just pulled out some pieces, cut it a little bit and started shaping the edges. I didn't really know if I wanted edges at first, but then I seen like the hairline and I didn't really like how that looked because the knots weren't bleached. So I was like, let me just add a few like baby hairs and you know, play around with them. Now baby hairs, you know, you just gotta play around with them. If you don't know how to do them, curl them. Curling them is definitely a good way to do like baby hairs if you need help, but um, I laid them down and then I just started wand curling and I had this wand curl for so long I don't even know where I got this from <laughs> like literally but yeah I just wand curled it did some light little waves and yeah that's pretty much what I did and then I pulled out the top pieces and wand curled them as well <laughs> And here is the finished look. It came out so cute, y'all. Like, the pieces in the front really added the touch. And I just love the high pony. It's just so cute and girly. So, y'all, that is the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed this hair video, girl. Like, yes, we're back with the hair videos, okay? Like, let me know. Do y'all still want them? Shout out to Ella Pearl Hair for sending me this wig, girl, because baby it's giving scalp and one thing i do want to try y'all is bleaching the knots i do recommend bleaching the knots if y'all know how to do that i'm definitely about to start getting into that because like i mean this is still giving scalp and it's a hd lace but boo with the knots bleached 
it would just, it would eat, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you want the hair videos to come back, like I said, let me know. Um, thank you to Ellie Pearl Hair for sponsoring this video. And if y'all have any questions about the hair details, again, they'll be in the description box down below. So check them out. And I'm not sure if I have a code or not, but um, if I do, I'm gonna obviously put it on the screen. So use my code at checkout, you can get a discount off. But if I don't, I'm pretty sure this hair is already discounted off because I'm sponsoring it. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe girl because we're trying to hit 100k and if you want to follow me on all my social medias of course they're in the description box down below and yeah y'all this is pretty much it this is the look hopefully y'all liked it it was a simple install but definitely thinking about bringing them back because i can get real creative now now i'm feeling a little bit more comfortable to get creative with my hair um my wigs and you know doing different styles so but yeah that's pretty much it and i'll see y'all in my next one bye y'all